Well, we're headed to the other side, but Welcome to of, my canoe. of interesting uh, note, that building over there is in the dead center of a uh, orange grove that we used to enjoy. Still a few oranges on them, I noticed. The There's a couple of more trees with oranges on them. And then that tall dead tree right there up at the top is an active osprey nest, and they're building it right now. We just saw him carrying twigs up there. In fact, he's waving at me. Oh, he wants to come say hello. Okay, show me what you're going to do. He's probably just going to get a twig. It's awfully nice having that slave labor that paddles you around. Doesn't come cheap. I'll give you some water every now and then, boy. Throw me some, just throw me some soup. Some Gerson soup. Oh, I got the soup. Well, we don't even have the water. Do we bring the water? Yeah, we got the water. Well, we're at the other side. Actually, we're out toward the middle. Tell me about this place. You well, go. this is the deepest part of the lake. It's probably 20 feet deep underneath us. And from here to the right bank over there, I've caught the most fish recently. And we're trying to, we're going to move inside. Very sneak bright. Up on them. Very bright sun. Sometimes I've caught them out here in the middle. Sometimes I've caught them over there closer to the bank. But are there fish in this pond? Well, you'll see. We will definitely show you your camera some fish today. That's a, a, a flat out guarantee. Show me the bass. I've, I've fished here too much to know that this is the time and the place. Well, I better get busy if that's going to happen. Well, it's going to happen. Tell me about this spot. Well, this doctor over here has remodeled his house within the last five years. Built a fantastic boat dock, a little beach for his uh, toddler son, who's now probably six or seven years old. He's built the wall completely, uh, renewed the wall, and uh, he's got a boat he comes out in. And Chases uh, people who are catching too many bass. Never been able to catch me. And this little walkway right over here, stairway, it goes up to a zip line. Yeah. I'd like to get a little bit closer and see okay, we will. We'll get over there. how that operates. Because this is very similar to our property. <laughs> and we're just talking grandchildren instead of children. But we know how the good doctor feels. More later. Well, as you can see, they got a little deer antler and then a zip line that goes from the back of that tree all the way over this way. That is an interesting. See where it ends. Boy, that is interesting. The cable starts up there. Oh, that black line hanging down is the, is the uh, stop mechanism. Basketball goal. The seat is up there. Yeah, I know. I saw the seat up there. Yeah. Wow. This is the side. I'm ready to fish this side. Hugh says he's got action. It sounded like action. 
it's a bass. Get in there. You got the net. I, I got the fish. Oh, there you go. Now for an eight pounder, I'll get the net. Show me what we got. We got our first fish. Oh, that's a beauty. A nice two pounder. I always lost my worm. Could be floating around out there. He's dark. Dark in color must mean he's down on the bottom. Now inside that yellow bucket is the schooler, I mean the, the uh, stringer. Stringer, okay. Here you go. Okay, fishing out there. Well, he's pulling something in. And we, oh. A bass about the same size. A little bit bigger. Holy cow. I believe. See Good where job. the turtle is? Hold it up just so I can get a picture of it. Good Got a job. bad spot on it. Bad spot. So let me see you cut his gill. Okay, we gotta make sure this does not go away. We've got three knots in this sucker. That thing is bigger than all of them put together. Hold it off to the side. Did you cut his gill yet? No. Nope. Okay, you got a good knot on there, don't you? Yeah. Let me cut it. Okay, we're gill we're uh what do you call it? We're, we're bleeding him. Bleeding. So that when we eat him <laughs> and he will be it will be a clean. There you go, that's one. Oh. I'm afraid I've cut my finger. There you go, no. That is a strong. That is a strong gill. One of these baby gills. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. That's good. Bleed, baby, bleed. That makes yours look small, generally speaking. I'm David, I tell you what, we just got this day, and I hope you get a big one. <laughs> Darn if you didn't get it. And we ain't going nowhere. Okay, we'll fish some more. Oh, man, this is the spot. More later. Okay. I'm getting ready to bring in another fish. All right, let me see it. That's a big one. There we go. Are we having fun yet? All right, let's see what we got. Now, you videotape me, please. Yeah, okay. I think that's a keeper. Second biggest. Second biggest hook in the front. Well hooked. Well hooked. Don't don't drop into that net. You'll have a trouble getting it out of that net. Okay, now I'm going to put him on the stringer. That's a good one. You get a good picture of it. Does it snap a picture? No, you don't snap it. That's definitely a good one. Let me see how long he is. You say that blue thing is 22 inches. He's around 19 inches. 
17. 18 inches. 18 That's inches. A good sized fish. Good sized fish. We got a good. You're going to be able to take home some bass meat. Okay. Well, yeah, that should be enough now. Thank you. Okay. Stop it. The red button. The silver button. Right. Okay, we're gill. We're. Uh, what do you call it? We're bleeding him. So that when we eat him, <laughs> and it will be, it will be a clean. There you go. That's one. I'm afraid I cut my finger. There you go. No. Strong gill. One of these baby gills. There we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I got it. They good? That's good. Bleed, baby, bleed. That makes yours look small, generally speaking. On Dang this. it, I tell you what. We just got through today, and I hope you get a big one. <laughs> Darn if you didn't get it. And we ain't going nowhere. Okay, we'll fish some more. I oh, mean, this is the spot. More later. Okay. I'm getting ready to bring in another fish. All right, let me see it. That's a big one. There we go. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? All right, let's see what we got. Now, you're videotaping me, please. Yeah, okay. I think that's a keeper. Second biggest. Second biggest. Hooked in the front. Well hooked. Well hooked. Don't don't drop it in that net. You'll have a trouble getting it out of that net. Huh? Okay, now the, I'm going to put him on the stringer. That's a good one. You get a good picture of it. Just snap a picture? No, you don't snap it. That's definitely a good one. Let me see how long he is. So that blue thing is 22 inches. He's around 19 inches. 17. 18 inches. 18 inches. A good sized fish. Good sized fish. We got to get to, you're going to be able to take home some bass meat. Okay. Well, yeah, that should be enough now. Thank you. Okay. Stop it. The red button? The silver button. Not except the weather channel. At the attraction 75, 77 well, Orlando. We're making our way around the lake. I'm Alan McBride, 540 WFLA News. Hughes in the, <laughs> Hughes in the happy seat. Have we had any catches out of the happy seat? <laughs> But anyway, things have been going well, and here's four good reasons. Well, we're on our way back toward the car, and there's our friend, the Ospreys, who aren't showing themselves right now, but they are up in that nest. And I might just zoom on it.
me take another one. No, it's, no, it's, it's all continuous. If you touch it, it'll turn it off. Okay, the red light's on. We went fishing, and uh, at first I caught two, and he was feeling bad. I said, Dave, I, I'll show you exactly what to do, and I showed him what to use, where to fish, and uh, then he... Leave him some. And then I had a the little big stroke of luck. And, of course, this is a largemouth bass, and it's got a large mouth. It's really nice. But then I also caught my second one of the day. Wow. Another largemouth bass. Big fish on Golden Pond. So the twins did pretty well for one time. Out Congratulations. Boy, that's a skinny Thank bass. You. They may not weigh six pounds. No, that's, that's seven to eight Okay, hours. now when you turned it off, mm -hmm. it, it, it's writing down at the bottom. You hadn't hit the red button yet. Yeah, you got to hit the red button. In the well, tell me what we're going to do today. Well, we're going to uh, go back over to where we had good luck yesterday, but think there looks like some schooling right over there. That's yeah, it sure does. We're, we're going there first. See the schooling? Yeah. It looks like a big school or something. All right, well... It's a great day. We're going to put some big fish in the boat. More later. So how's it going so far? Uh, well, we have seen some schooling, but uh, haven't been close enough to get them. It's just absolutely gorgeous morning. It's only 8.30, so we're just getting started. Well... We might ought to remind them they ought to change their clock. This is one of the homes that are on the lake here that is absolutely beautiful. But like I said, that clock in there says 7.30 where that guy's working. Evidently, the maid hasn't changed the uh, clock yet. More later. A false alarm. He thought he had one. Well, tell me where we are and what well, we're doing. We're on Golden Pond. We're right where we started catching them yesterday. On the east side of the lake, we put in way over in the corner and came across with the hopes of having a big day. And so far, we're uh, still waiting for the first catch. But it could be any moment now. I hear you. And of course I'm confident because I finally broke the ice yesterday. I think this is where we're going to catch an eight pounder today, Hugh. That's my prediction. Have you got a prediction? I would say uh, seven or eight pounds is going right. to be a good catch today. Okay, we're, gill we're uh, what do you call it? Yeah. We're bleeding him. So that when we eat him, <laughs> and he will be, it will be a clean. There you go. That's one. Right. I'm afraid I've cut my finger. There you go. No. That is strong. A strong gill. One of these baby gills. There we go. Oh, no. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. That's good. Bleed, baby, bleed. That makes yours look small, generally speaking. On Dang it, I tell you what. We just got through today, and I hope you get a big one. <laughs> Darn if you didn't get it. And we ain't going nowhere. Okay, we'll fish some more. I mean, this is the spot. More later. Okay. I'm getting ready to bring in another fish. All right, let me see it. That's a big one. It 
<laughs> Are we having fun yet? Uh, let's see what we got. Now you videotape me, please. Yeah, okay. I think that's a keeper. Second biggest. Second biggest at the hook in the front. Well hooked. Well hooked. Don't don't drop into that net. You'll have a trouble getting it out of that net. Huh? Okay now. The, I'm gonna put him on the stringer. That's a good one. You get a good picture of it. Just snap a picture? No, you don't snap it. That's definitely a good one. Let me see how long he is. You say that blue thing is 22 inches. He's around 19 inches. 17. 18 inches. 18 inches. A good sized fish. Good sized fish. We got a good. You're going to be able to take home some bass meat. Okay. Well, yeah, that should be enough now. Thank you. Okay. Stop it. The red button? The silver button. Not except the weather channel. At the attraction 75, 77. Well, we're Atlanta making our way around the lake. I'm Alan McBride, 540 WFLA News. Hughes in the happy seat. Have we had any catches out of the happy seat? <laughs> but anyway, things have been going well. And here's four good reasons. Well, we're on our way back toward the car, and there's our friend, the Ospreys, who aren't showing themselves right now, but they are up in that nest. And I might just zoom on it. Where are they? Not the we other one. Cute. Okay. And then Dave caught his finest in a long. Uh, <laughs> let me take another one. No, it's, no, it's, it's all movie. continuous. If you touch it, it'll turn it off. Okay, the red light's on. We went fishing, and uh, I, first I caught two, and he was feeling bad. I said, Dave, I, I'll show you exactly what to do, and I showed him what to use, where to fish, and uh, then he... Leave him and then I had so a the big stroke of luck. And of course, this is a large mouth bass, and it's got a large mouth. It's really nice. But then I also caught my second one of the day. Wow. Another large mouth bass. Big fish on Golden Pond. So the twins did pretty well for one time. Out Congratulations. Oh, that's a skinny Thank bass. You. They may not weigh six pounds. No, that's, that's seven to eight. Okay, minutes. now when you turned it off, it, mm -hmm. it, it, it's writing down at the bottom. You haven't hit the red button yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to hit the red button. In there. Well, tell me what we're going to do today. Well, we're going to uh, go back over to where we had good luck yesterday, but it looks like some schooling right over there. That yeah, it sure does. We're, we're going there first. The yeah. It looks like a big school or something. All right, well, it's a great day. It's going to be a great day. We're going to put some big fish in the boat. More later. So how's it going so far? Uh, well, we have seen some schooling, but uh, haven't been close enough to get them. It's just absolutely gorgeous morning. It's only 8.30, so we're just getting started. Well, we might ought to remind them they ought to change their clock. 
This is one of the homes that are on the lake here that is absolutely beautiful. But like I said, that clock in there says 7.30 where that guy's working. Evidently, the maid hasn't changed the uh, clock yet. More later. A false alarm. He thought he had one. Well, tell me where we are and what well, we're doing. We're on Golden Pine. We're right where we started catching them yesterday. On the east side of the lake, we put in way over in the corner and came across with the hopes of having a big day. And so far, we're uh, still waiting for the first catch. But it could be any moment now. I hear you. And of course, I'm confident because I finally broke the ice yesterday. I think this is where we're going to catch an eight pounder today, Hugh. That's my prediction. Have you got a prediction? I would say uh, seven or eight pounds is going right. to be a good catch today. Okay, the red light's on. We went fishing, and uh, at first I caught two, and he was feeling bad. I said, Dave, I. I'll show you exactly what to do, and I showed him what to use, where to fish, and uh, then he... Leave him some. And then I had a the little big stroke of luck. And of course, this is a largemouth bass, and it's got a large mouth. It's really nice. But then I also caught my second one of the day. Wow. Another largemouth bass. Big fish on Golden Pond. So the twins did pretty well for one time. Out Congratulations. Boy, that's a skinny Thank bass. You. They may not weigh six pounds. No, that's, that's seven to eight Okay, pounds. now when you turned it off, mm -hmm. it, it's writing down at the bottom. You hadn't hit the red button yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to hit the red button. In it. Well, tell me what we're going to do today. Well, we're going to uh, go back over to where we had good luck yesterday, but think there's, it looks like some schooling right over there. That's yeah, it cool. sure does. We're, we're going there first. See the school? Yeah. It looks like a big school or something. All right, well, it's a great day. It's going to be a great day. We're going to put some big fish in the boat. More later. So how's it going so far? Well, we have seen some schooling, but uh, haven't been close enough to get them. It's just absolutely gorgeous morning. It's only 8.30, so we're just getting started. Well, we might ought to remind them they ought to change their clock. This is one of the homes that are on the lake here that is absolutely beautiful. But like I said, that clock in there says 7.30 where that guy's working. Evidently, the maid hasn't changed the uh, clock yet. More later. A false alarm. He thought he had one. Well, tell me where we are and what we're doing. Golden Pond. We're right where we started catching them yesterday. On the east side of the lake, we put in way over in the corner and came across with the hopes of having a big day. And so far, we're uh, still waiting for the first catch. But it could be any moment now. I hear you. And of course, I'm confident because I can finally broke the ice yesterday. I think this is where we're going to catch an eight-pounder today, Hugh. That's my prediction. Have you got a prediction? I would say uh, seven or eight pounds is going right. to be 